Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kickstarter Crap. Today we're going to be looking at the Darius, uh, Dayron Arius magazine. What happens when you want to become Oprah, but you're trapped in the body of a low-budget Mario Lopez who's been jizzed on by Anthony Bourdain and Andrew Zimmern? Well, you become Dayron Arius. Not to be confused with Dario Naharis, or the Carbonara effect. Let's see what this human picnic blanket has to tell us about his project. This guy's a caricature. He is what the Disney Channel would hire to be in any one of their live action shows like The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Hey, I'm the Travel Channel host here, and I got a big contagious smile. That's actually what I'm known for, is my contagious smile. It infects people, and also, I make Cubanos. You guys want Cubanos? This guy seems to think that anything looks good on him. I would say, oh, I look like a faggot. Maybe I should take this these faggot clothes off. If you go to his magazine website, DayronAriasMagazine.com, not to be confused with DayronAriasRadio.com or Darius Arian, <gasps> you'll find all sorts of magazines available. We're gonna take a look inside the Happy New Year edition of Dayron Magazine. Uh, first two inside pages are ads. One ad is for the Dayron Arias collection, which is a I guess furniture that he has designed himself. All material appearing in Dayron Aries magazine is copyright unless otherwise stated or it may rest with the provider of the supplied material. Some images, not all, used by Dayron Aries magazine are royalty free photos and stock images and can be downloaded at heroturco.com. By the way, heroturco.com does appear to be a bit of a pirating website. I couldn't access it, uh, maybe it's been shut down for that reason. But I think it's important, uh, as we move along, to keep that in mind. I'm not here to bust anyone's balls about pirating. I, I've done my fair share. Day Ron Aries Magazine is published every two months by Day Ron Aries Publishers Incorporated. No, it's not. It's published every six months. Oh, you made a publishing company just so you can print your shitty magazine? He doesn't print every two months. That's a fucking lie. He prints twice a year, that's semi-annually. I don't know how he gets that fucking wrong. It took me two minutes to look on his website and see, oh, he's made two in 2011, two in 2012, and two in 2014. Oh, that's uh, two a year. That's uh, what we like to call semi-annually. This is uh, behind the scenes, and the cover is, oh, what do you know? It's uh, the same as all the other fucking covers. Dayron Arius. It's him with a lime green background that really just pops. Really pops and make you go, wow, what is this, Miami? What are you in Miami? What is this, Florida? What is this, Florida Keys? What is this, Fort Lauderdale? What is this, Florida? I had a long weekend. On November 16 was the photo shoot for my January 2014 cover, and this picture is from the day before during rehearsals at 9.45 p.m. I was so tired but still did a good job. I still did a good job. Really, you went to rehearsals? Why do you go to rehearsals? Oh, are you acting? What are you, what are you acting for? Oh, no, it's a photo shoot. Why are you going to rehearsals for a photo shoot? Is that a thing? Leave it in the comments below if people do rehearsals for photo shoots. I never heard of such a thing. Well, you, 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 you going twice to take photos once? Oh, but I guess you took photos the first time around. So is it rehearsals or is it just a second photo shoot? Dayron, you're, you're fucking retarded. If you're truly interested in Dayron Arius, you can always scan the QR code in the magazine to be taken to the behind the scenes video for the photo shoot. When you're perusing the Dayron Arius magazine, you'll find that there are some articles that say, Buy Dayron Arius. But as you read them, you say to yourself, Well, this doesn't sound like it's been written by a Dayron Arius. So you do a reverse word search and find that he's plagiarized the entire article. This right here is one of my favorite parts of the magazine. It's an advertisement for the Dayron clothing line. And if you look closely, it says who's photographed, Eric Martinez. Kind of looks like an Eric Martinez. I guess Dayron really does have his own clothing line. No one would go through the trouble of, you know, having a price breakdown for each of the pieces of clothing, make a fake name for the hairstylist, the makeup artist, he even has the photo shoot location up there. I just couldn't take no for an answer, so I did a reverse image search of the man in the leather jacket and I found out that he is in fact stock photo handsome man thinking. 
He's also a big fan of having these quotes around his magazine that finish with hyphen Dayron Arius or uh, signature, obviously implying that it's his opinion or his words exactly or his quote or he thought it in his head at some point, but uh, all of them are taken directly off of Google. Yes, even the small little blurbs that he could easily make up himself. Hey, what's your name, Paul? Check this out, Paul. Hyphen Dayron Arius. He'll steal all the reviews from tech websites so that he can write Dayron's favorite stuff, but uh, really it's not Dayron's favorite stuff, it's someone else's favorite stuff that he has essentially just put all together in a nice format. One thing to note, there is occasionally an article that is written by Dayron. I would say the magazines are 90% plagiarized, 10% his words. Looks that say you're hired. Dayron, I'm not sure if this look is a look that says you're hired. I don't think that's... I don't... I'm, I think you're just saying shit again. Oh, wow. A full two-page spread of Dayron's face. That's, that's exactly what this magazine needed. Two more pages. Make that six pages of Dayron's face. Why would you put a two-page Ford advertisement in your magazine when, number one, Ford isn't paying you jack shit for this. In fact, I'd venture to guess you put it in there without their permission. Uh, number three, you could have easily taken up these two pages with another two images of your big fucking mug. This issue has an exclusive, what men really think about sex, question mark. I would really like to have access to page 20 so I can hear Dayron's take on what men really think about sex. Wow, dude, you're looking great. I love you, the American flag shorts. This guy makes me fucking sick. You're a sham, Dayron. You're having a professional photographer photograph you in the water in your American flag shorts. Meanwhile, your magazine, if you can even call it that, is hemorrhaging money. Dayron Aries Magazine is a bi-monthly magazine. It is not a bi-monthly magazine. How many times do I have to tell you what your magazine is? Semi-annually, twice a year. Not two times a month, not one time a month, not once every two months. Two times a year, Dayron. Get it through your thick Cubano skull. As of June 2015, its average free online circulation was over 530,000 copies. No fucking way, Dayron. If you look on any of your websites, you can easily tell that that's false information. Let's go to your magazine's website. Oh, you have four followers on it. Let's go to the, uh, the radio. You got 18 followers here. 530,000? Mm, I don't think so. Dayron Arius Magazine is directed toward a median age of 19 to 45. Why not ages 18 to 45? I mean, surely an 18-year-old has more in common with a 19-year-old than a 19-year-old has to a 45-year-old. Since its inception, Dayron has appeared alone on the cover of each issue. The first shared cover is his January-February 2010 issue, in which he appears with the Elena... Why are you telling us this? This is somehow supposed to be a selling point. Dayron has appeared alone on each cover, except the January-February cover, where he has someone else on there. Don't worry, that was a one-time thing. Every other cover is just going to be Dayron. He's asking for $20,000. However, his only reward tier is limited to 10 out of 10, so only 10 people can order a subscription of this wonderful Dayron hair, oh, no hair project. I've had about all I could take from Darius Arian, so I'm gonna pass it over to you, Paul. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kickstarter Crap. Remember to hit that like button, remember to smile. Always remember to smile vehemently. Make sure that everyone knows that your smile is contagious, and if it's not, you're gonna make it contagious. Remember to tune in next time when I French kiss a fruit bat. With your fucking happy guy looking ass. Read all kinds of comments. One guy said we should die. Rude. Rude. Yeah. Right off the bat. Rude.